Hello there you beautiful and handsome humans it's the Snacker Cracker Robot Editor. Before you watch the video, make sure to subscribe, comment and leave a like. Enjoy the video and have a nice one. Peace. This is Amanda. Okay, Amanda. She fell in love with Lumia. What? Hey. Whoa, whoa. Hey, yo. No, bro. That's a chandelier. That's a little chandelier, bro. Snackacracker. What's up my beautiful people, Snackacracker here, back again with another video. I hope you guys are doing well, I'm not doing too bad myself on this wonderful day. So in today's video, um, be prepared to be cringed and uh, embarrassed. Uh, yeah, yeah, so without further ado, let's begin, but before we actually get into the video guys, help your pull out and uh, subscribe to the channel. I would really really appreciate it. I have like one subscriber at the moment, but please hit that subscribe button. I want to reach 100 subscribe subscribers before the end of 2022. So let's get into the video. This is Amanda. Okay, Amanda. She fell in love with Lumia. What? Hey. Whoa, whoa, hey yo, no, bro. That's a chandelier. That's a little chandelier, bro. Yo, I... Hmm... Wait... Yo, okay. She's okay. funny, she's excitable, she's what? mature, but she's youthful as well, even though she's a hundred years old. While many struggled to get to grips with Amanda's unusual romance... It was difficult because nobody really understood me, no one really got me. Amanda has come to terms with the fact that she has fallen in love with a chandelier. I've never... Yeah, um... Yeah, right, right, of course, I, 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 I don't know what to say, I'm just gonna carry on, sorry for stopping the video, forgive me. I love the human way of love, yeah, not that way, not being totally madly in love. I wanna swing from the, the chandelier, from the chandelier, I know. Right, of course. Yeah. Hey, I'm confused here, why do I keep seeing, um... American references yeah. because the accent oh, baby. is different. Hey, all right. Miss you. God no. Physically wise, what attracts me about chandeliers is the way they look, the, the rotational symmetry. They don't have to have crystal prisms on them. They can what? be without, they can just be a beautiful shape. What? I have a collection of roughly fifty. What the freak? Bro, yo, I, mm, I, I, I don't know where this world is going to. Well, the world is fine, but it's the people that they're a problem. The people are the problem. Oh, I keep coming across these weird things, bro. Yo, no, oh my God, Jesus Christ, bro. It's just such a beautiful, Bruh. beautiful sound. I fell in love with drums first when I was about 14. Right. You fell in love with drums first? Quite a while. There was actually another love between there that I don't talk about that much, but it's the American flag. Yep. So okay. I loved the American flag for a couple of years and I still do. Oh, you were in love with the drums, chandeliers, the American flag. She came and in about the Statue of Liberty. So. This particular example I've had for 10 years. Although Amanda still has love for the Statue of Liberty, her affections have since moved over to chandeliers. And there is one in particular oh, no. that has stolen her heart. Oh my god. I've got all these chandeliers around as you can tell, but there is one in I hope this is not going where it's not supposed to be. I hope. I hope it's not going where I think it's going. I just Please, God, please help out, yo. In particular, that is special to me, no. and that is this one. Oh no! And it's Lumia. Okay. I discovered Lumia on eBay. Uh, she was in Germany. Uh, okay. I thought, oh no, I'm not going to be able to get her. She's too expensive for one. And how am I going to get her shipped over here? And then okay. I ended up buying her. I fell in love with her from the moment I saw her. The right. way she looks, the angles on her attract me. Okay. Long, you know, 
her color, her attitude, her way, her energy. So. Wait, hold on. How do you, how do you, how do you figure out an object's attitude? Because it's not speaking, it's not moving. You're the one touching it. I, I, I'm confused. How do you figure out an, an object's attitude? How does that make any sense? I, I am confused. Tell me in the comments. I'm so happy to get her here. Her energy, she's very funny, she's excitable, she's... Oh, what? What? What the freak? What? <laughs> no, bro. How? how? It's... I think there's no to speak. I, I... Oh my god, I'm just gonna carry on. I... Mature, god. but she's useful as well, even though she's a hundred years old. You know, she has a really positive vibe. She brings out the good in me. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely a physical attraction there, most definitely. I mean, the shape of her arms is just so unusual. I've never seen that before. I love the amount of detail, you know, look, it's amazing. When I touch her like I am now, I feel the energy coming down from my arm, my warmth, huh? from my body into her. She's whoa, 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 whoa! What the freak? No! Ah, what? what? The energy? What? No! I, oh my god! Yo! Ah! Energy? Energy? How do you? How do you even do that? I uh, Oh God! No! Up my life. You're nice and clean now, aren't you? Ah. Although Amanda's friends and family are accepting of her affection Alright people, uh, I'm not judging, alright? Objects, many people don't understand this form of love I think See? people find it strange because it's unusual, you know It's not something that everyone's heard of before Yeah, people but we're not judging People don't understand the attraction or the energy Or because they don't feel energy from objects I get mixed reactions from people. Yeah, um, you can't get, you cannot get an, you can't, you, you can't get energy from an object. That's like impossible. That's like impossible. Uh, well, 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 it depends if that object that you're touching is possessed. But by the looks of it, none of the objects that you have are possessed. Because if they were possessed, they would have some, they would have moved on their own as if, I don't know. I don't know. But, they're not moving on their own, you're the one touching them. And I don't get this thing of the energy that you feel from objects, it just does not make any sense. We're not judging, we're just confused. Oh, really, some people are like, oh, you know, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, well, how does that work? People aren't really mean to me on my, to my face, you know, so whatever people might type on the internet, they won't dare say it to my face, they're just trying to impress their mates or whatever, you know. I have tried dating humans before, I've had two relationships, you would say, with human male. I don't know exactly where my love with objects compares the same with people's love for other people. So my sexuality is object and the sexuality is where you fall in love with an object. Most of the time, I would say all the time, the reason is from animism. An object and sexuality feels energy from an object. It's different for me, it's very much emotionally based and very energy based. Physically wise, with Lumiere, I'll kiss her and I'll cuddle her and just stroke her or whatever. And that's about the limitations of physical contact with her and I'm quite happy with that. You know, I'm, I don't need more than that. I don't know what would happen in the future. I'd like to think that I would be with Shanda. Well, uh, I'm glad she's not sexually attracted to the objects. Oh my god, you're such a creep. Go and kill yourself, you disgusting little fuck. It's forever though. I keep the book open. You never know what is going to come around the corner. Who knows if I would ever have a relationship with a human again. I'm not going to rule it out. I know it's difficult for people and I respect that. But I'd rather people come to me with a question than to immediately write me off. What I think is the most important about objects and sexuality is that it's love. You know, it is real, 
genuine love. So right, 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 the right, out of course. There, none of them were beautiful as you. Oh, well, that's the end of the video for today, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you have a video in mind that you want me to react on, it could be any video from uh, weird stuff uh, to the most uh, funny stuff that you want me to watch. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can um, leave a comment or leave a link uh, in the comment section and I'll check it out. I'll check it out. And I'll, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, so as I said before, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. I have like one subscriber at the moment. I would really appreciate it if you hit the subscriber, this this, this subscribe button. <laughs> oh God! You disgusting little fuck. Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. Make sure to sanitize. Uh, self social distance. Uh, mask up and do all the crazy stuff. Exercise. Eat healthy. Drink so much water and uh, take care of yourselves, guys. Peace. Hello there you ugly bastards it's the snacker cracker robot editor, before you leave make sure to subscribe, comment and leave a like, or else I will come to your house and kill you and your family. Subscribe motherfucker.